If I can stay straight ahead. Oh, God. Oh, there's such a little opening for this. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> Everybody, Grace still plays, and we're back with more Beam NG Drive. No time for BS. So here we are back on another map by MXT333, who is responsible for many amazing maps. This one is called the King's Keep, and we can't really tell from here, but somewhere on here, there is a King's Keep. In fact, let's start heading away right now to try and find it. This map was inspired in ways by the Game of Thrones. Which is a series I am completely and totally ignorant about. I mean, I know a little bit about it. There is the King's Keep, way in the distance. Holy crap, that's not close at all. I guess, well, we'll have to get there one way or the other. Falling is usually the best way I find. That's usually how Gray accomplishes everything, by falling very swiftly to the ground. The car is still, I think it's gonna be just fine. Look, the engine still revs and everything. Son of a bitch. All right, man, and we landed on our wheels. I would call that a victory. Let me just get this thing going. Perfect. This, so in case you guys didn't know, this is what I had planned all along. That is essentially how you circumvent most of the map and get on your way. Now you could try and do this. You could try and do this like a normal human being. Oh shit. Okay, let me get something a little bit more appropriate for a king's keep here. There we are, border patrol. Doesn't, uh, doesn't Game of Thrones have something about borders and like people protecting them? I feel like it does. I think that my wife told me something about that. So here we are in this lovely environment. Uh, I guess, I don't know, is this a take, a take on like the Welsh countryside? Wait, is it Welsh countryside? Irish countryside? I don't know. Where does the Game of Thrones take place at? Oh God, there's water everywhere, isn't there? Oh, there's a little way across. Excellent. Clearly the game the, the person who made the map recognized that someone would be falling down that horrible crevasse over there and thus there should at the very least be a way to huh, Hopefully there's nothing bad over this hill to get back onto the roadway. Oh god, of course a Giant felled tree with roots that I get stuck on. Oh, I have located an adorable little cottage I feel like I should instead of using my normal cursing in this particular board, I feel like I should have like some some medieval cursing. Like by Splomgard's bollocks or something. I don't know. I could never I gotta tell you something. I could never come up with good medieval curses. Oh there, scant eyed pantaloon. How fare thee this day? Pat don't hit the rocks, Gray. Yay! Border Patrol! Airborne! Oh, 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 come on, baby. Don't you go on your side. What a save! But I gotta tell you though, in the distance there, the castle does look pretty damn sweet. Now I guess one of the things that we have to do, besides like not be able to drive because part of our car is caught somewhere, is enter the castle. It said in the notes that there is, I think only one way in, but two way out. Two ways out, so I guess we'll have to check that out in a minute here. Oh god, fence lines. Hopefully there's nothing connecting these posts together. Nope, skipping on right past them. Excellent. We have successfully infiltrated the beachhead that leads from the castle to the interior of the castle. Oh, the sound of the ocean, how peaceful. Of course there's a ramp to get into the castle. They couldn't just like lower the drawbridge, whatever. Border patrol infiltrated the castle. Here we go, boys. Let's freaking do this. Yeehaw! Shit, I shot it short. Uh, wait a second, hold on, hold on. Is there spikes in the water? Clearly they knew that we were coming. Okay, so needless to say, we're going to need something with a little bit more power and speed than this. La -da -dee. What else do we have over here? The Thunderball. This sports car into a fighter jet due to 1,350 hit, uh. <laughs> oh, I almost did it. I almost had 1,350 hit points. Yes, we're going full medieval right now. Let's go ahead and replace this and see what we can do with this thing. I don't think I've ever used this car. Oh God. All right, here we go. More like a fighter jet, is it? Well, we'll be fighting our way right into the castle if I can stay straight ahead. Oh, God. Oh, there's such a little opening for this. That's what she said. Oh, <laughs> oh right into the teeth of the castle. Okay, I think I'm going to go with a more modest approach this time. We won't really speed up. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Now, we're going full bore, baby. Into the castle deep. No. Son of a bitch! Man, the defenses of the castle are uh, pretty good when it comes to aspiring BeamNG drivers trying to get in. I'll tell you what. 
All right, it's it's pretty clear at this point that we're catching way too much air. Maybe I'll only get up get it up to about 90. God, this thing gains acceleration so damn fast. We're doing it with this car, though. I have decided. Uh, right about here. That should do it. That should not do it at all. Crap! By the power of Grayskull, I have the power spot. <laughs> all right, this is a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. All right, okay, enough just enough messing around. Castle, I will see your steamy entrails if it's the last thing I do. Penetrate the castle with maximum force. Yes! No! <laughs> yes! It still counts! I don't care. It still counts. We're in. Okay, so I do want to get in one piece. I, I've, I've tricked myself into trying this one last time. If it doesn't work and we get any part of our vehicle inside of the castle, I'm going to count it as a win and we're going to start exploring the inside. Let's freaking do this. All right, baby. Right about here. This should be the optimal range. Right about here. So what's your wagers right here? Uh, it doesn't look too good. Oh, I think we might hop, skip, and jump inside, though. <laughs> Now, technically, the front of the bumper kissed the wood grain of the inside of the fortress. I feel like that should count. Forward, men! This castle be ours for the taking. And a, a beautiful tumble inside of the castle. That freaking counts if ever I saw it. Oh, God. Uh, what beautiful brake pads we have. Oh, yes. Freaking made it! That is a that is a ten point landing right there. Okay, so now that we're inside the castle, let's see what uh, what it looks like. Uh, oh well, they have a they have a lovely courtyard. What the hell is this? What is this? Oh, what the crap? Who designed this castle? The freaking uh, the walkway like levitates off the ground. Is this majory? Is that what this is? Ooh, there's like another way over here. Well, let's just go right into the middle first off, and I don't know. Maybe we'll check. Oh my god, hold on. Yeah, that is a lot of ramps, a lot of ramps. Uh, let's just, oh my god, let's just check this out first. This thing may be a little bit too fast to go looking around the inside of a, what the hell? This is a stables inside the castle. Well, I guess, now I don't know too much about castles, but uh, I don't know. Is that is that how it works? Like you have your outer perimeter walls of the castle and then like a couple of like village structures inside over here? Man, it's like a damn petting zoo going on over there. It's like an elk and a horse and another horse. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Look at all that. There's like elks everywhere. Just very stoic looking elks. All right, well, very interesting. Let us continue onward. What else, what other sort of strange, majestic treasures might we, well, might we find inside of this place? Well, here's the exit. Uh... Oh, whoa, 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 Oh, there's no treasures. There's no treasures. It's just, it's just a, like a place for you to fall. Uh-huh, yeah, I see. I see what the intent is here. Ooh, there's like a little ways down. What do you do with this? Oh, it's the docks. Okay. Uh, does it go all the way down to the water? It almost looks like it's above the water. Oh, a little bumpy over here. Holy crap. Uh, ow. Yeah, it does go right down to the water. I do like the ambient water effects, though. They do sound very lovely. Go ahead and back up in here and get us back inside of the castle. Ow. And get us back inside of the castle. Okay, so apparently there is a very, very hard corner right here. Okay, just so you guys don't think it's just me, if you if you just, like, drive over this thing over here, and then you, like, try and back up... Okay, now it's not doing it. This isn't fair. I was losing my tires all over the place just from backing up over the little, the little separator here on the docks. Whatever. It happened. Come on. You know you want to believe me. Glory to Spegbar Scroats Hammer, damn it. We have entered, we have entered the castle. All of our tires are broken. I think that there was somewhere it said something like there's a lot of tire popping issues on the board. At least I hope there is. Although I will say this car drives surprisingly well with with no real tires. I mean, on the rims, we're, we still have plenty of pick-me-up. So that's not too bad of a thing. Let's see what we got up here, up these little plankards. Kind of climb, all right, well, if we... If there was any tires that we had left, I imagine they're all gone now. Yeah, it's definitely very difficult to not get stuck on the little transitions. Oh, that's why. There's tiny... Look at this right here. Hold on. You see that? There's tiny little, uh, little inconsistencies. Maybe we should get a car with slightly more clearance. There we go. It's the Explorer package. It seems appropriate for exploring. 
These dusty ruins. What happened to everyone inside of the village, I wonder? Probably a plague of sorts. Oh, God. I hope we can make it up here without losing all of our wheels, though. I kind of wonder. Oh, yeah. This thing's doing pretty damn good. What a beautiful view up here. Let's see what's at the top. Oh, man. Cannons. That's what I'm talking about for all those pesky fleets that try and come into the castle. I've got you. I have the same problem at my house. Cannons keep away the door-to-door -door salespeople after all. Ooh. Oh, we are all the way at the top here. I wonder how things look from this from this perspective. Let us back away and bask in the beauty of the castle. This is a grand castle. What is that down there? You see that? Is that like a little fountain down there? Uh, I don't know. We may have to check that out. It looks like so beautiful and magical. Like it looks far too lovely for just a fountain in the middle of a uh, in the middle of a uh, a castle. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, Let's go ahead and kind of follow this pathway over here, if I can call it as such. Oh. Oh, this this goes... Wait a second! Did this just go to the other side of the castle? Or it almost looks like it ramps off into where we came from. Well, I I had a, I had a freaking tough enough time... Whoa! Yeah! Yeah, you can't, can't fool old Gray! I know how it goes. All right, hold on here. Let me see. It's kind of... It's kind of... Get this right there, and then we'll kind of jump across like this. There we go. No big deal. I wonder, do these cannons, what is it? Ow. All right. Yeah, they're pretty stalwart. All right. I was going to say, what is hitting the cannons like? Well, it's like hitting everything else. It pretty much stops your car right in its tracks. Low bridge. There it is. There's the fountain of youth over there. Looking absolutely spectacular. Take your cameras out if you've ever wanted to see the glorious fountain of everlasting youth and beauty. We're just, we've are just we just passed it, and now, um, I don't know. I guess we'll just kind of keep going around the keep here. Keep going around the keep? Eh. Seems a little bit redundant. Um, I feel like, I remember there, there, it's saying that there was a way off of here somewhere. Oh, crap. Uh, okay, good. I was gonna say, I was really hoping that I wasn't going to miss that little area right there. Uh, yeah, let's try and find out how you leave once you're here. Crap! Well, that one got me. That one got me good. Um, hold on, I know what we can do. Let me do a little bit of this. It's back way out. I could probably just use the free cam, but this is really, really amazing. So, yeah, for making a map, a castle map like this, hell of a job, Jesus. I mean, and now understand that there is a lot to this map as it was. I mean, we were just kind of like wandering around for quite some time. There's all kinds of off-road isms that you can do here. But on top of all of that, you get this lovely castle that you can partake in. All right, I think I've got, oh, it's the, look at this. It's the, uh, the throne over there, right over there. Look at it, just like, what is that above the throne? It almost looks like a garbage disposal or something. I'm not really, that's kind of an interesting thing to have just above the king. The king's chambers, looking a little barren, but you know, he's not even moved in yet. Like he, legit he legitimately just bought the castle. I mean, give the guy a little bit to do some decorating. Found the way off the castle, it's way on the outside, and it looks like a right glorious pain in the balls. Oh crap, all right, well first, First try was met with glorious, glorious failure. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit more speed. Now, there's an interesting balance of speed and control that must be gained here. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Oh! All right, well, I got a little bit closer. We got to the second, we got to the second little, I don't know what to call that, a little flooring tile kind of there. Lovely stonework the castle has, I will say that. God damn it! <laughs> Glory to the kingdom! You son of a bitch! The kingdom sucks! I'm starting to really dislike the kingdom. At first I was kind of indifferent, but now I'm kind of pissed off. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it! We're doing it! Yes! Oh god, oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 suck it! Oh, lord of wieners! Guide my hand! Guide my vehicle right off! Right off the little... The little planks there. This world is filled with dirtbag deities that love to see me suffer. Oh, we're doing it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we may get there. Uh, yes. 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 
<laughs> yes! Freaking made it! Sort of. Uh, yeah, I'd consider we're touching land. So I'm gonna go ahead and call that a victory. All right, we're gonna try and get there slightly more legitimately. Here we go! Yes! Hold on, let me see if I can get on dry land. Oh, wow, this is, oh. This is, uh, this is beautiful. I mean, we're totally hydro-locked. But uh, now if that isn't like picture perfect-esque, I don't know what is, right there. Right there, screenshot worthy, castle in the background. Soft clouds passing languidly overhead as the water sweeps in and out of our waterlogged vehicle. I don't know. Either way, it was a pretty damn cool map. I did like the castle in there, and getting inside was just a pain in the ass enough to make it fun. Guys, hope you enjoyed this little look at the King's Keep over here, this Game of Thrones inspired map. Very, very cool. Lovely beach, too. Reminds me a little bit of Florida. Till the next time, guys. Stay foxy and much love.